Today's recipe guys will be biryani pizza. In Loza kitchen we are trying to combine meals which will satisfy all ages in the house. So for this dish enjoy a biryani topped with pizza. Ingredients 1 teaspoon of ground masala, 1 green chili, 1 bay leaf, 4 cloves, 1 cinnamon stick, 1 teaspoon of cardamom, 1 teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon of shahi jira, and 3 teaspoon of yogurt. 1 teaspoon of garlic, 1 teaspoon of ginger, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 onion, 1 tomato, 250 grams of mixed vegetables. 2 teaspoon of tomato paste, 2 cups of soaked basmati rice, 1 teaspoon of cilantro, 1 teaspoon of parsley. 1 cup pizza sauce, 1 pizza dough, half cup tomato, half cup bell pepper, half cup mushroom, half cup mozzarella cheese. We start with cutting the onion. We use half for frying and the other half for cooking. As you can see, we fry the onion until turn gold. We heat the pan and we add the oil. It's vegetable oils. Then we add the bay leaf, cinnamon, gloves, cardamom, and we keep stirring for about two minutes or until we smell the aroma that is coming out of it. As you can see, guys, we keep stirring so nothing gets burned and we have bad smell. We need the aroma to stay in the pan. So we keep stirring with it until all the flavors come out and we have at the end flavored oil. Once ready, we can then add the green chili. And as you can see, the green chili will start sizzling inside the pan because of the hot oil. Then after that, we can add the onions, which we have cut earlier and we keep stirring. We keep stirring guys as you can see until we see the onion is softened and cooked then we will add the garlic and ginger paste Now guys, it is time for the mixed vegetable to be added. We are using here mixed vegetables and potato. Now it is time to add the chopped tomato and we keep stir it in the pan so nothing gets stick, nothing gets burnt and we cook it on a low heat. Now guys, we will be adding the tomato paste and we stir it, we keep stirring it until the mix is well together. We add some salt, coriander, turmeric, 
chili powder grand masala we mix it together and then we add the yogurt and last but not least we add the two cups of boiled water we cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes and we come back when it's done now we uncover it make sure it is ready we put the cover on the side safety first guys it is hot we bring some gloves and we strain it make sure all the juice is out now we get a new pot we add some vegetable oil and we put little salt little black pepper if you want and then the soaked basmati rice we also put it in the pan and we make sure that we put all the rice nothing is left out we start stirring it on a low to medium heat until it is half cooked we come back to the rice it is half cooked guys now we add the stock which we strained earlier from the mixed vegetables we make sure that there is no rice left out and we leave it for some time until the sauce is fully absorbed from the rice now guys as you can see the sauce is boiling with the rice and we will cover it until the rice fully absorb the sauce on a low heat in this next step guys we put some vegetable oil then we put some rice then we add the mixed vegetables then we put our fried onions and then we add the parsley and cilantro and we add another layer of rice and another layer of mixed vegetable and lastly we will add last layer is the rice make sure you have some holes in the rice so the steam comes out and make sure to add a little bit of water just so you don't burn anything now for the pizza topping and dough we need pizza sauce some bell pepper mozzarella cheese little tomato and mushroom we cover the dough over the clay pot as you can see make sure that there is no holes and no gaps everything is filled as you can see for the dough i will leave the recipe in the description of the video and for the pizza sauce also now we start with the pizza sauce put it on the dough and distribute it evenly make sure we cover all the sides of the dough and now we add the chopped tomatoes you can put anything on it really it doesn't really matter what are the ingredients you put as long as you know and love your pizza for this example we used vegetarian pizza we add now the bell pepper 
mix green yellow and red now we are going to add the mozzarella cheese make sure that you cover all sides and now we add the mushroom and we have everything ready to be put inside the oven to make sure you get this crust we add some olive oil on the top of the pizza and cheese and we will be preheating the oven for 300 celsius before we put it inside now we are putting it inside the oven and we will reduce the heat to 250 now we have it ready as you can see guys we will take it outside and just make sure you are safe because it will be very hot and we will remove the pizza from the top as you can see gently and we will be removing the pizza slowly and gently so it doesn't get torn apart and we have biryani pizza ready